best player you've played with? Best player? Yeah, uh, that you played with. For assists and goals, I'm going to say my boy Ashley Young. Okay. All right. All right. As a, that's, a, that's a real striker Just talking there. Just because of what he... What, yeah, because what what he done for me in terms of like just somebody knowing where you are, how you are, you buzz off them on the pitch, off the pitch, your roommate, teammate, like you know, like that kind of vibe. I'd say the whole package. I'll say Ashley Young. Yeah. Did you think he was ever going to go to the to the heights that he's that he's obviously achieved? Even till now, he's still playing for one of, one of the biggest clubs in the world. Um, I'll be honest with you, I told this story all the time. Like when I got to Watford, he was in the change room as a trialist. Okay. Because they released him and said, Oh, well, you live local in Stevenage, just come back down and train because, you know, you could just see how you get on. And then me and him clicked and then he ain't looked back and he's just gone on to have a, an amazing career, man. And I even mm-hmm. tell him all the time how proud I am of him. Of him. Like, even at 35, playing for him in Milan in yeah. European Cup finals and stuff. No, he smashed it. No, powerful man. He definitely has. Um, toughest opponent you've come up against? Toughest. Yeah. Most horrible, I'd say, and I've come up with uh, quite a few. I can say Tony Adams, Sol Campbell, Rio Ferdinand. But the worst, worst player I didn't like was um, Vidic. He, he, he's he's um yeah really dirty. The ball was nowhere near you. Um, <laughs> your goalkeeper had the ball and he's punching your yeah. ribs and. Yeah, that guy was a real... He should have been in... I don't know if you remember the film Universal Soldier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dolph yeah. Lundgren yeah, and yeah. Van Damme. Yeah, he should, yeah, they yeah. should have put him... Yeah, they should have put him as one of those... The army guys with the... Yeah, with the, with the mic. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was, yeah, it was that sort of... <laughs> but but you, see, you see those... You see, like, again, this is something that young players don't really think about. Is like, when you get to that level, it's those little margins that will get you ahead. Do you know what I mean? It's like yeah, yeah. What again for strikers, especially for strikers? What, what, what advice would you give for for young strikers coming through in the game? Um, in terms of working in your game, repetition, um, repetition, um, annoy your manager, stay out, do shooting practice. Because what one thing I used to do that I used to like doing is like some shooting drills on the Friday before the game on the Saturday because. Okay. You, you carry that momentum into, and when you go to bed, you, your last kind of thought process is on on what your last session was. So, mm-hmm. even if your 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 manager does pattern of play or eleven v eleven, get a little squeeze, get get onto the assistant manager. Say, Look, I just need just give me ten shots at a goal, because you will carry that kind of momentum into a game. You you you, you play how you train. Mm-hmm. And you cannot very rare can you switch it off and switch it back on it has mm-hmm. to be right throughout training man and more times when you're on fire and training you'll carry that into a, 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 a live game so mm-hmm. and also I'd say for any player um, think for kickoff think about your first touch mm-hmm. think about your first touch everything will follow afterwards your skills, mm. your step overs, 